Okay, when you when we get those watch and warnings pop up on our phone, there is a difference. So tell us the difference between the watch versus the warnings. So I always like to say a watch has all the ingredients, right? But a warning means that this is expected. And so as meteorologists, what we're thinking and what happened on Saturday really is we started to see that watch come into our viewing area. So that's when we started coordinating. OK, if this turns into a warning, because it could happen like this, we were thinking it would happen maybe that 11 o'clock hour. But I'm telling you, as soon as it was a watch in our area, it went right into a warning. And so that's when we kind of coordinate everything behind the scenes because we want to be on live TV when it's at a warning so that we can get down to your neighborhood uh, so that we can help people plan because every second counts, especially when we get into those neighborhoods to make sure people are prepared because if you're not paying attention, you know, and that storm comes, you know, there could be devastating aftermath with that. So the watch has the ingredients. The warning says this is expected. And then as meteorologists, we start planning our coverage to make sure we can serve you in your time of need, which is what we rolled out on Saturday. Uh, we were expected to do every hour. I was on the phone with our boss. We're going to go at 11. We're going to go at 12. But as, that's when it was a watch because we wanted to be prepared. But as soon as it turned into a warning, which was before 11, we were on air from 11 all the way past three as those tornadoes were, you know, in our area. And those pictures, like you said, did help because we started getting them from Katie uh, showing so we could get down to the street level to find out exactly that location. I, I remember covering tornadoes and being yeah. out in the field and a lot of the, a lot of the interviews that I did was the the second mm -hmm. that I got the alert on my phone is yeah. when the the house you know the damage started coming and so it's mm -hmm. so important to stay on the air as a meteorologist yeah. because it is a about life and death sometimes mm -hmm. at that point that you guys are really a service to families out there and letting them know like how important it is to really pay attention to these warnings, Brittany. Yeah, and I think, I mean, as a meteorologist, it is devastating when we hear loss with our storms because it's our job to serve and protect. And that's why we really, as a team, I'm telling you, uh, everyone reminds us that we've got to get to the street level because the street level is where you live, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to know what road is it on because those people need to take cover. And then what we like to do is just, and, and the path is always unpredictable because, again, it's made in that moment. But at least we can project that with the new technology we have to, to let other people know, hey, this is here. If it continues on this path in 20 minutes, it's going to be here. I remember saying that with the woodlands. You know, we got to prepare. Yeah, you got to really. be ready and take them so seriously. Mm -hmm. If you got to get in that closet for half an hour, just do it. Yeah, I'm grateful. You know, technology has changed over the years, so at least that helps us update. And hopefully technology will continue to advance so that we can save more lives. Yes. All right, Brittany, thank you so much for breaking that all down yeah. for us.